Audience, would you believe me if I told you this guy tried striking down two YouTube channels because they made fun of him? For the 0.01% of you that thought he didn't, well, motherfucker, we have a lot to go over today. All right, people, what's up? The biggest brain rot YouTuber on YouTube has broke the law. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I introduce you to LOL Cringe. And by the way, audience, I just wanted to say this to get it right out the gate. LOL Cringe, I know you're watching this video, and if you strike my video down, I will take you to fucking court and I will win. There's already been plenty of people that tried to strike down my videos before and they fucking lost. So yeah, if you try me, you're gonna get hit with a one-two you. But anyways, this story begins whenever a YouTuber that goes by the name of MK, and he made a video about LOL Cringe, and it was titled, This is the Worst YouTube Shorts Channel. By the way, just to preface this video, he was around a thousand subscribers whenever LOL Cringe, Mr. 20 Mil, decided to strike down MK's video, a guy with a thousand subscribers. I'm not making this shit up. He is that much of a fucking pussy. Anyways, for this next particular segment, I'm gonna let MK explain his situation whenever he saw the strike. I watched the video and the content that this man covers is genuinely unbelievable. So I thought, you know what? Let me make a video on this because this is actually a pretty funny topic. I make the video, video gets 1K views, I go to sleep. Happy MK. I wake up the next morning. I see a strike on my channel and I'm thinking, what the heck? Anyways, since MK received the strike from LOL Cringe, he basically had to contact LOL Cringe to basically have him potentially remove the strike. And for this particular situation, Mr. MK went to the About section of the LOL Cringe YouTube channel to contact him, essentially asking him to politely remove the strike because it is a false takedown and it is entirely fair use. And that is because, as you may or may not know, audience, fair use on YouTube can be considered under the lines of criticism or commentary, which is why your favorite YouTuber, Rith, is actually still on the platform to this day. So basically, if the fair use law didn't exist on YouTube, all of your favorite reaction commentary YouTubers would be gone. So thank God the commentary and criticism is allowed. So at this point, you might be wondering, well, Rith, what exactly did MK get struck down for? And audience, I am going to play you the clip that actually lol cringe time stamped, which he considers that actually broke the copyright law and not because he has a sensitive little vagina. Check this bullshit out. I don't know what sane human being is gonna wake up in the morning and think, damn, I really gotta watch me some low cringe. I gotta subscribe to low cringe. These are kids that press the subscribe button, but don't even know why they're subscribing. Low cringe solicits children to subscribe to his content. He needs to be cancelled immediately. He's manipulating young, impressionable children to watch his cringe content, and he's a piece of sh- Hey, YouTube, YouTube, I'm joking. That is a joke. I love Jeffrey, man. He's a swell guy. Please don't take me down. Yeah, audience, that was the video that made Mr. 20 million subscriber LOL Cringe have his fucking beef curtains quivering. By the way, direct message over to LOL Cringe. Are you fucking serious? Do you need me to put a cold towel on your fucking forehead because of how pissed off you got? Bro, that was the most run of the mill commentary reaction video that you could probably find on YouTube. And you struck down his video because you got sensitive and not because he broke the copyright law. Motherfucker, did your mom raise you in the Super Weenie Hut Jr. building? Because you can't be fucking serious. But anyways, audience, what MK did was contact Mr. Lol Cringe through email, and he was getting aired the entire time. Until, ladies and gentlemen, an absolute unit of a man named Peep is Awesome also made a video about Lol Cringe and his stupid antics. And then finally, Lol Cringe saw that video, and he's like, oh, fuck, I should probably respond. And that is exactly what he did. So I sent this guy three back-to-back -back emails in the span of 10 days. 10 days of airing my emails until Peep is Awesome came in clutch and made a video about the situation. This guy was so scared of Peep is Awesome making a video. He was like, yo, within an hour of this video being up, I need to say something. Anyway, since that video has been released, Mr. Lol Cringe decided to finally reach out through email, and he told MK to reach out to him through Telegram. First off, motherfucker, why are you on Telegram? I'm not trying to accuse anybody of anything, but as far as I know, the only people that use Telegram are the people that like to solicit some very NSFW pictures of children. That's the only 
only thing I've ever heard Telegram being used for. I have yet to know anybody that was ever on Telegram that wasn't up to some freaky shit. But anyways, because Mr. Low Cringe is a totally normal looking person in society and he wouldn't solicit NSFW photos of children and he wouldn't do any weird shit, he's a really awesome and swell guy. I've talked to him before. I've shaked his hand. We're really good friends. Okay, but seriously, before we get into the chat logs, ladies and gentlemen, please grab popcorn. It's gonna be a long day. Anyways, before MK actually got to DM Mr. Lol Cringe on Telegram of all applications, he had to join his fan base's group chat in order to actually get contact to Lol himself. And for the record, audience, this group chat has gotta be some of the most degenerate shit I've ever seen. I'm just throwing a few images on screen of where Mr. Lol Cringe himself would type in his fan base's group chat. And as you can see, these are images that you wouldn't exactly be showing to kids at all. I don't know why he's sending a picture of, I don't know if it's him or not, a picture of a dude in fucking panties, and then a picture of what it looks like a naked ass dude pissing on the ground, and then his fan base, if you could even call it that, is starting to send even more degenerate shit than this. In this screenshot, that is actual hentai in the group chat. And in case you're wondering, I'm the one that censored that image. So if there's any five-year-old kids that have Telegram that is in that group chat, which if we really took a look at his content, 99% chance that yeah, there's five-year-olds in this fucking group chat. They are being solicited by Mr. Lol Cringe's fan base, and then Lol Cringe himself is sending images of people wearing sexual lingerie. And by the way, this entire Telegram group you can join by yourself, and there's no limit for any age that you have to join the group. Lol Cringe, you're a fucking weirdo. But anyways, aside from his group chat being completely fucking weird, MK finally got to message Lol Cringe. The green bubble is MK, and the gray bubble is Lol Cringe. Hello, Bobby Hill being sad. Hi, you guys really disappoint me, but especially you. Bro, what kind of fucking emo timing is this dude on? Bro's probably typing this while he's crying in the bathtub like a little baby. You guys disappoint me! Yeah, okay, but fuck you, copyright abuser. Question mark. Why did you take my video down? It was fair use. I'll tell you this. I can delete any video about myself and I only deleted yours. Bro, this motherfucker's on his Joker arc. Holy shit. Society made me do this. Yeah, okay, mother. Motherfucker. Bro, it's not that complicated. You got a sore pussy and you struck down his video. Simple as that. You don't even understand why. Bro went from his Joker arc back to being an emo little girl. You won't even understand. Dude, shut the fuck up. You're a professional victim. No, I don't. Why? Well, you gonna say why? I can ignore insults. It doesn't bother me, but you encourage people to complain about my channel. That's why there's a strike on your channel. Whoa, whoa, motherfucker. Let me slow your ass down real quick. MK himself, in his own video that your ass struck down, he himself said in his video that nobody should go to your channel and leave hate or harass you. In case you have some sort of selective fucking hearing, I'll play the video for you. My apologies, but this is so aids to watch man i actually can't do this also i just gotta throw this out there don't send hate to this guy he's just trying to make money he's trying to chase the back he never told anybody to go to your youtube channel and be typing some shit to be harassing you or anything of the sort you are just a professional victim buddy i'm not a bad person and you all insult me i'm not proud of it but with my content i help donations for children who are sick doggy style whoa motherfucker doggy style is that really the choice of words you want to use listen buddy I know you're a normal person in society, even though you like to send lingerie pictures to kids in your group chat. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm sure there's at least one minor in there. But yeah, that's a crazy fucking sentence to say. I do this at the request of volanters with no compensation, but what are you and all those who engage in insults doing? Well, if you want me to answer the question, we're not sending lingerie to a group chat of kids, and we're also not breaking copyright law and ruining people's incomes. Is that the answer? or you wanted to fucking hear. This is actually crazy what this dude is trying to argue. I did not encourage anyone to engage in any kind of insult. By the way, audience, I don't want you guys insulting or harassing this 
guy either. So yeah. In fact, I'm one of the only people who said to not send hate to you, and I have a clip in the video to prove it. So you're either lying right now, or you didn't watch my video fully and struck it down without even verifying. And that doesn't change the fact that my content is and still fair use. Doesn't matter what I say, unless it falls under harassment, you cannot false strike my channel. You called for complaints about my channel, bro, that's for sure. Okay, Mr. Fucking Genius, he can complain about your channel all he fucking wants. Did he say in the video that you were a worthless fucking pig and you should burn in hell? No, he did not. Even everything that I've said about you so far in this video, it's not considered harassment. Harassment is like if I went after your family, I started making fun of your physical appearance, etc. But that is not what I'm doing, and that is definitely not what MK's doing. I don't speak English. I watched it through with a translator. Maybe it misled me. Yeah, uh, maybe you should have figured that sh out before you tried to ruin somebody's income. I think you jumped the gun a little bit too soon, buddy. I don't want to have a long discussion and figure it out. Bro, you just caused a legal dispute between copyright law. If you're too fucking immature to have a conversation on whether or not you're gonna reinstate a video that you falsely took down, then honestly, you shouldn't even have a fucking YouTube channel to begin with. Quit being an immature little pansy. I don't have much free time, but I'll remove the strike, but on one condition. If you're ready to take it off, delete that video and complete a small challenge. Bro, what the fuck is this, Timu Mr. Beast? Well, skibbity dabbity do. if you complete one challenge, I'll reinstate your video. Bro, so you literally recognize that you falsely took down his video. You committed a crime that could land your fucking ass in jail for five years. And here you are talking about a fucking skibbity dabbity do challenge. You can't be fucking serious, man. By the way, audience, this isn't the only case of lol cringe doing the whole challenge thing. He also sent four copyright strikes to the guy that we were talking about before, Peep is Awesome. And he was saying the exact same thing to him. Here's what Peep had to say about his four copyright strikes. Has a very bad tendency of falsely striking channels for playing his videos. And ever since my last video, I'm on my fourth strike, and I didn't make a video about it. I'm on my fourth strike because of this. And then he would comment on the video saying, You made the wrong choice, dude. Just overall being cryptic and fucking weird. Just make a video where you drink an iron can of beer in one gulp and say that this is about my health and prosperity of my channel. After that, you will say that I am the real... What? I don't even know what the fuck that is. In the asses of dragons. Yeah, this dude is officially off his fucking rocker. Anyway. Anyways, essentially MK said no, and then they said some more cryptic ass messages to each other. But yeah, audience, in conclusion, LOL Cringe has never retracted any strikes to absolutely anybody. But anyways, with that being said, leave a like on this video so that we can spread the word about this absolutely large channel being completely absurd. And also, while you're at it, subscribe to my channel, let's get 5 mil. Let's see if he strikes down this video.